All of you who said that Miss Universe Philippines this year is going to be a bloodbath were not wrong. Oh my gosh. I, I'm not sure if we've ever seen contestant headshots quite at this level collectively. I'm in shock. Shock. The other thing, if you don't know, this is also a very unique year in terms of eligibility. Contestants that are Filipinas all over the world are allowed to compete. So you're going to see some titles you've never seen before. You're going to see a, a Miami, there's a Washington, there's a Southern California. So contestants are coming from the United States to go compete in the Philippines and actually from all over the world. But this is new. This has made it more challenging. Because of that, I have to say that this has risen the standard, but the good thing is, the higher the standard, the higher the ladies rise. They will rise to the occasion, and they are doing so. But what this means for people like myself and for judges is that we're gonna be very, very nitpicky. So for headshots, beauty is a given. These are gorgeous women. We've established that. Great, what next? We're talking about maybe quality of photography, styling, facial expression is gonna be very big. And the fact is that you can be a gorgeous person and not be so photogenic. I also know this from personal experience. I never won or placed in a photogenic competition at a pageant. And I will regularly, in the nicest way possible, get comments from people who watch the channel or have seen me compete and then they meet me in person and they're surprisingly shocked and they're like, oh my gosh, you were just so much more beautiful in person. And I mean, I, and I don't mean that in a rude way. And I'm like, I know, I get it. It's okay. I'm just not photogenic. Okay. I understand that. And I'm okay with that. But it is always really funny when people actually meet me in person and they realize that I just look different than my photos, but in a good way, I guess. Since we're at the beginning of the competition, I am going to share my top 20 favorite images. And remember, please don't let these favorites in this episode be a reflection of my overall top picks and favorites. Janet is giving us elegance here. She really is. Also, she's wearing my favorite color, so I love anything navy. Anyways, but I love it. I love the elegance. I love the hairstyle. I love just the soft updo, the, the diamond earring. She's giving luxe here. Luxury. Virginia? Obviously, every image is gonna have some editing. All right, but bravo to whoever edited this one. The way that they used the lighting, I love it. It looks like it was shot during golden hour. It's gotta be edited, but it looks not edited, if you know what I mean, and also stunning. I'm gonna need some help with the new provinces that I am not familiar with. Here we go. Talise. Talisai? I'm not sure. Someone help. Anyways, love the wispy hairstyling. So different, so unique. And people were already commenting, she looks like Amanda Obdam. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. That's a huge compliment, personally. Beautiful. Miss Universe Thailand 2020, yes. Pasig, Pasig looks a little Latina in this. And you know what? I love it. I love it. Also, soy mexicana, pero no habla español. Necesito aprender a hablar español. Sí. My goal one day, too, friends, because I do really want to learn, I would love to create episodes in Spanish. My Nana would be so proud. It was literally, it was literally one of her dying requests that I learn how to speak Spanish. If anyone ever, ever wants to just DM me, have conversations with me in Spanish, I would greatly appreciate that. Please, feel free, let's all talk in Spanish. Zimbales, how is she real? How is she a real person? I just, I went over to her Instagram and I was just scrolling and I saw her in this corseted blazer and I was like, oh, that corset is working magic. And then I kept scrolling and I was like, no, it's not. She's 5'8 and her waist is 19 inches. Literally unreal. Anyway, she's in the episode, gorgeous. Help, please help in the comments. I am here to learn. Kami, Kami Gwyn, Kami Gwyn, not sure. Stunning, would I have loved a little bit more lighting? Yes, it's very dark, it's very moody, okay, but it doesn't matter. Her beauty is shining through. She is the light in this image. Davao City. Love a great smiling headshot. Beautiful hair, makeup, editing. I do wish that she didn't wear the contacts. The colored contacts really seem to be a thing. I would say in Asian countries. And I just don't feel like it's necessary. Ladies, your brown eyes are beautiful. Beautiful. Australia. Look at her with that star earring. Okay, she's giving me star quality here. This headshot is different from the rest. It is different 
and it stands out in a great way. She has a look behind her eyes that's just like, you want to get to know me. I know you do. Kabanantuan? Kabana? Kabanatuan? Kabanantuan? I'm feeling very challenged in this episode today, but honestly, I'm kind of excited to learn how to pronounce all of these. Can't wait for these comments. The comparison people were giving to her was Catriona, and I can see that in the eyes. I can see it. If somebody said to me, oh, this is Catriona's cousin, I'd believe it. i believe it. Look at this. Look at this. You should see her other images. I went to go check out her Instagram. Oh my gosh. Cavite. Wow. Beautiful. Literally. Not a hair out of place. Perfect. Hair, makeup, love the smile. Love it all. Miami. Okay. So Miami, I'll be honest, quality of the image can be better. I think there could be more clarity, right? You, you guys know, I love a little texture on the skin, love a little pores. Gorgeous. You can see how gorgeous she is here in this image. She's one of our few contestants that's smiling too. D gorgeous. Bulacan. <sighs> Stunning. Stunning. The natural beauty here. I, I don't know how much makeup she actually is wearing, but I love that she was going for this kind of no makeup look because it works for her. I could never, but for her, this works. And that's how gorgeous she is. And if I, in my head, I have all these imaginary scenarios, but if I were a casting director and I was casting an editorial campaign, it's her. She is the face of my new campaign. That's who it is. Please help again. Kainta? Kainta? Ah! Stacy is returning. Gorgeous. I have loved her in the past. I love her now. Love this image. I like the pinks. She's just, it, she's almost like coming out of a shell in this. And I love that. I'm so excited. Ilo Ilo City. I commented on some posts when she won. Yes, she's beautiful here. To me, I just, I love her in video though. I love her in video. I saw her in video and I was like, you just glow. You just shine. Shine. I cannot wait to see her compete. Northern California. What can I say? Just look at it. I, I honestly, I, I don't even have to say anything in this episode. Just look at the image. Self-explanatory. You can see why she's here. Baguio? Do they ever not send a gorgeous contestant? I don't think that's a thing. They're like, no, we don't do that. No, no. They're like, we, we literally only send the best. That's our thing. Bahor. <gasps> Victoria is back. She is back and she has grown in her confidence. I just feel it. I, I've still been following her since her last journey. And I just feel like she's a different person inside in the best way possible. I need an episode about their press presentation. I need it. It's just, I can't keep up with all the MUO news. Honestly, there's not enough hours in the day. So I'm doing my best. Kazan Province, what a look she is serving. Let's also not forget, she was first runner up at Miss International. She's a bini bini Filipina. Yeah, look out. I just love the styling here though. That, that straight hair, just that pulled back look, the earrings, oh, it's great. Cebu, kind of giving me Steffi here. Okay, a little bit. Also, I've never seen so many comments because I looked at these on Instagram. I have never seen so many comments creating comparisons between this batch and former contestants or title holders. You you just click any of the ladies and somebody's like, ah, Catriona, another person. They're like, ah, Robia, she gives, she's giving me Pia. Uh, you, there's all these comparisons, crazy. United Kingdom, beautiful, gorgeous, wind in the hair. Stunning. I apologize for my lack of adjectives in this episode because there's only so many words I can use to describe the beauty of these contestants. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for tuning in. Please be sure to subscribe and remember if you want to support it, hit that super thanks button or join memberships because you'll get early access to episodes and access to extended ones as well. Thank you again and I hope to see you very soon.